Hey what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel where today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at this Asus Solar Powered Wireless Security Camera Kit. Now as I'm sure you're aware there are plenty of similar camera kits on the market but this does have quite a few standout features. Now the first thing that I like about this camera kit is the fact that it's solar powered but Many others have wires going from the camera itself to the solar panels. But on this kit, the solar panels are actually integrated into the cameras as well. So it's a nice clean installation. Now the cameras themselves record up to 2K resolution. They can tilt and pan 360 degrees. They can auto track people as well. So no need to actually get on the remote and actually move it around yourself. As soon as someone steps into shot, it will track them around automatically. It's also got a built-in flashlight on there. So again, it will illuminate people at night, which is great. And when it comes to the storage, you haven't got to worry about SD cards or cloud storage or anything like that. It's got a base station. Everything that gets recorded goes onto there and it is a subscription free. So nothing to pay forever. Okie dokie, let's crack on then. And let's first start off by taking a quick look around the outside of the box. So as I said, this is the ASU Solar Powered Wireless Security Camera Kit, SolarCam D1 Classic Kit. And in the top right hand corner, we can see that it says free, no monthly fee. And in the bottom right hand corner, we can also see that it says works with Google Home. And we get an image there of the base station and the two cameras and the solar panels, as like I said, they are integrated into the cameras themselves, giving a uh, nice clean look. All right, let's get the box open then and see what we have inside. So first up, we have our instruction manual. Next up, we have a couple of window stickers. Let's move this bit of protective foam out of the way and uh, we've got all the contents there. So first up, we have our base station. So we've got the logo on the front there. Moving around to the back and we have a speaker, ethernet port, USB, power and sync button. Quite small, as you can see, it uh, sits in my palm of my hand quite nicely. So you put that on the side, but yeah, it's not too big. Moving on then, and we come to the cameras themselves. So two in total. Solar panel on the top, like I said, it's all built in. Looks very nice and clean looking. A couple of antennas there on the side that you can move about. The camera itself on the front, we've got those lights there to illuminate people. We do have a little bit under here, little flap, which we can open up. Reveals a couple of buttons there to reset the camera if we so wish. Now moving around to the back and uh, we do have a speaker there because it does have a siren built in and I believe that you can speak to people as well. Then we've got the uh, mounting bracket there so there will be a bracket that we put onto the wall and then that will attach onto the back of the camera. Nice and simple to do. But yeah, like I said, it's a real nice looking bit of kit. I like the way that it's just all integrated, like I say no cables or anything like that come out of the back. Yeah, nice and simple to put up. So of course we've got the second camera there, just set that off to one side. And then we come to all our supplied cables and accessories. So we've got a LAN cable there. We've got two cables that are USB-C and USB-A. Next up, we have the power cable for our base station. I'm in the UK, so we get a three pin plug on there. And that obviously goes into the back of the base station itself. Then we come to our mounting kit. So uh, we've got a couple of templates there, which we're uh, put onto the wall and we know exactly where to drill. So yeah, this is well thought out. You ain't got to uh, go with guesswork of where you are drilling. And then we've got the actual mounting plates themselves, Ooh, two of those in total. So again, we're attached that to the wall and then the camera will slide onto that. And uh, I've just dropped one lot on the floor, but there's the other one and we also get screws and plugs supplied. So everything that we need to attach this to the wall. Now, if I just grab one of the cameras and one of those mounting brackets, and I imagine this is now on the wall, all we simply do is then just slide the camera on like so. There we go, simple as that. Now, for some reason you're finding that the solar panel isn't getting enough sun and this thing is running out of charge. What you can do is that there is a little flap underneath on the camera so you can pull the camera down off the wall and we have a USB-C port just there. Grab your supplied cable, 
plug it in and you can charge it up within the house. Now that the unboxing's done, all I need to do now is get up the ladders, get jiggy with the drill and get these cameras installed. Okie dokie, so I'm up the ladders now then. I found a position on the wall where I want to mount the camera to and I've got my positioning sticker. First thing we want to make sure is that we've got the uh, two drill holes at the top and the uh, one down the bottom. Simply going to peel that off and position it on the wall where I want to drill. Right, that's the holes drilled. Plugs are installed. So all we've got to do now is attach the bracket with these three supplied screws. So that's the bracket now attached. So next up we need to fit the camera. Got protective film on the front. I'm gonna pull that off and then simply slide the camera onto the bracket. There we go. Moving on now then, and let's now hook up our base station. Now this is simple enough to do. All we have to do is plug in our ethernet cable into our router, which I've already done. Plug in the other end into the base station itself. Get the power cable, hook that up as well. Leave it for approximately a minute, and then it should kick into life. Now that's done, next thing that we need to do is download and install the Aosu app. So I've got this on my Android phone. Going to install in a few seconds, it should be ready to go. Now that it's downloaded and installed, what we need to do is either log in or create an account. Right, so I've now signed up for an account and we are presented with this page. Now it says add devices. So I'm going to click on add devices. And it says, please scan the QR code on the devices slash home base with your phone. Now that that's done, it has presented us with the different camera systems. Of course, ours is the SolarCam D1 Classic, so I'm going to click on that one. Now it says please use the cable to connect the home base to router. Make sure the port indicator lights up. Now we've already done that, so we can move on to the next step. Now it says please ensure all cameras are turned on. Unplug waterproof plug, press and hold the power button at the bottom for five seconds until the hello startup sound plays and the blue light is on and the device is turned on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hello. Now, as you probably just heard, the camera did say hello and uh, on the app it says I hear hello, so let's click on that. Now it says press the sync button on the back of the home base until it beeps and the green light flashes. Now it says home base searching. And there we go, it says successful home base connection. Camera connecting, please wait. But already we have a green tick, and I'm guessing that's for the device that we've already connected up. And uh, if we wanna connect up the other one, which I will do later, it says to basically follow the steps that we've already done with the previous camera. So I'm now gonna click on done. Now, as you can see, we've got both cameras displayed here on the app. And uh, what I'm gonna do is run through some of the menus and see what is what. So starting off at the top, we've got view multicams. So at the moment, like I said, we've got the two top and bottom there. We're just showing still images uh, of what I previously looked at. If I click on multi-view there, give it a second and both cameras will click into life and we are seeing a live feedback from both. Now if I back out of that, we also have a smart security. Now in here we have away mode, home mode, and turn off devices. Back out of that again, and in each camera section we have options there, so as you can see it's the same on both. So we have snooze, so if I click on that, we can uh, slide to set do not disturb duration. Then we have events, so this will show you all your recordings that you have in a uh, nice fashion just there. You can scroll through them and select each one that you want to play back. And uh, as you can see, I've already been having a little bit play around with them last night. So yeah, it is a great bit of kit. Back and out of that, and then we come to our settings. So clicking on the settings on the first camera then. Now we've got a toggle there where if we so wish, we can turn that camera off for whatever reason. Then we got share device, so we can uh, share access to that camera with maybe a friend or family member. Backing out of that and moving on down, we've got our motion detection. 
Now if I click on that, we can see we can turn off the motion detection if we so wish. We've got a toggle there for human only, so it'll pick up just people. We've got human tracking, so this will pick up people, but also track the movements where human detection will just start a recording. It won't actually track and follow that person, but with human tracking, it will. So uh, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Walk around the garden and the camera should automatically follow me. Then we have detect sensitivity. Again, we've got a toggle there to uh, adjust whether you want on or off. Next up, we have auto alarm. Now for this, again, we've got a toggle at the top whether we want that to come on or not. So again, when it detects someone, as it says here, upon detecting any person or moving object, the camera will actively initiate an alarm and record the event. So yeah, a siren will sound and it will start recording video. And again, we can schedule this for different times of the day if we so wish. And also we've got a slider there to adjust the volume of that alarm. Next, we come to our notification settings. So again, receive push notifications, got a toggle there. So we can select when we wanna get those notifications. If we wanna get the notifications immediately as soon as it detects any movement, or we've got an intelligent mode there, where it will give us a push notification once the recording has ended. Then we have our video and audio settings. So in here we can select the resolution, so a default is 2K. Uh, we can go for smooth mode, so that's gonna lower the resolution a little bit, but it will be uh, better if your network isn't so great. Then we have night vision mode, so we've got automatic switching based on ambient light levels, so that will switch uh, on the infrared LEDs at night, which is probably the best way forward. Uh, we've got white light aided illumination, so that's going to turn on the floodlight. It's going to drain the battery more, but if uh, maybe it's very dark and you really want to light up and scare off someone at night maybe, then you can do. And again, I've recorded some footage of that and it is very good. It does light up the garden very well here. Then we've got turn off infrared light. So if we don't want those to be working at all, and then we've got a uh, volume slider there for the two way talk speaker. So yeah, you can speak through the camera to uh, anyone who is knocking about. Then we come to battery management. Now in here, we've got a power saver mode, so it'll just record uh, each event at 20 seconds long. Or we've got the intelligent detection mode there, which will be a 60 second long video. But obviously if the event is going on for longer, it'll just split it up into 60 second clips. And then we have a toggle there at the bottom if you wanna see the battery percentage as uh, it doesn't show that initially on the screen, but if you turn that on, it will do. Then we have a scheduled sleep. So again, we've got a toggle for that. So again, we can uh, set a time that we want the device to sleep for and then back in out of that. And then we have LED status light. So that's the LED on the front of the camera. Again, we can toggle that on or off. Next, we have smart display access. So we've got that for Amazon Alexa and OK Google. So if you've got a compatible device with say a screen, you could say, uh, you know, show the front door camera as it says there, and that will show up on your screen. That's gonna be really handy. Then moving on down, we've got about device home base information, firmware updates, quick start and remove device. Coming back to our main home screen again, and if we scroll down, we can see the home base there. And uh, we've got settings for that. And it does show the home base itself, what cameras are attached. We've got about device, share device, firmware updates and remove device. Okie dokie, it's now time to test out this camera. So what I've done, I've come out into the garden where I've got the camera set up to, and uh, I'm gonna walk in front of the camera to see if it automatically detects me and if it actually follows me around the garden. And uh, when it does pick me up, it should push a notification to my phone as well. So let's see how this goes. So as we can see, we've got the camera just up there, all ready to go. So I'm gonna move into the line of the camera. There we go, it is locked on to me now. And uh, if I move around, there we go. I've just got a push notification. Um, it did come up on my phone. There we go. Saying motion has been detected. If I move around, there we go. It is now tracking me. How cool is that? So no one is operating that camera. If I uh, put my phone in my pocket, give myself a wave. 
and it's picked up actually on something else over there so it's uh yeah going backwards and forwards to the cat over there at the moment i think so yeah it is tracking me really really well look at that no problems whatsoever going a little bit closer there we go moving around still going low even if i go real close to the side of the house yeah it's still picking me up it's picking up on something else again but yeah it's doing a good job move around to the other side very good indeed now what i'm also going to do is uh test out the speaker on this so if i fire up the app and what i'm simply going to do is press on the camera on there and i'm going to click on talk hello can you hear me there we go that's working perfectly fine next up what we're going to do is test out this siren so again if you've got anyone hanging around the uh, property you can click on the alarm button just there and then hopefully there we go we get a siren going off now another option that we do have on the app is 360 so we can manually move the camera around if we so wish by moving the uh, slider up down left or right as you can see that's all responsive but if we press once on the button there 360 what it will do now is the camera will automatically just start doing a 360 pan basically like a patrol around the property so uh yeah gives you a nice all-round view of what is going on now something else we can do is create a panorama so as you can see it says click to generate a panorama if i click on that and in a second it will create a panorama shot so as we can see the camera is now moving around generating that shot for us And there we go we get a nice 360 image that is mental okie dokie so i've just stepped out to the garden now then and i've got the live view going on my phone at the moment what i'm going to do is walk in a shot and see how well the camera actually picks me up and see if it tracks me or not and there we go it is now tracking me absolutely fine and to be fair it is lighting me up like a christmas tree so that is great there we go see me there on camera it's raining at the moment but hey anything for a youtube video that is very impressive indeed so now what i've done i've gone into the settings on the camera and i've turned on the automatic flashlight so i'm going to move it into shot but the light has already come on but let's see how well it tracks me and what i look like on camera now again that seems to be tracking me just fine And it is lighting me up literally like a christmas tree nice and bright anyone walks into this garden they are easily going to get caught by that camera so what are my thoughts on this camera well to be honest i think it's a great bit of kit i mean just take a look at it what a clean installation we've got no cables hanging down anything like that it's just nice and neat looking you know it didn't take that long to install setup was nice and easy and let's be honest it is feature packed you know we've got the solar panel up there at the top we ain't got to worry about charging up or anything like that i say no wiring into the mains you know we've got the auto tracking going on we've got the alarm we've got the lights it's everything that you want in a camera system and uh yeah i'd highly recommend it and there you have it then guys now i will be putting a link in the description for this camera so if you want to go and pick up one for yourselves you can uh, use that link and it'll take you straight to the camera itself and i'd really appreciate it if you would use that direct link because it is an affiliate link which means i'll get a few pennies back in my pocket cost you not a penny extra to yourself when you purchase it 
And uh, as well, if you have appreciated this video today, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't, and hopefully I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Bye for now.